G'day folks, it's Cortezarino, and welcome to the beautiful mountain seed of the Cortezarino Patreon server, Reno. And I better not keep calling it Serverino, otherwise people will think we're a little bit odd on this server. But check it out guys, it is day three, and we've already got so much done. I mean, look what we've done with spawn. This is beautiful. I mean, we've got torches, we've lit up the whole area, we've got a bed. What more could you want? Ooh, and I've also taken a bit of time to construct a beautiful path out to our spawn village. We kind of need these torches actually because a couple of us nearly died in the powdered snow just to my left. Check this out, we've got a portal already. Unforgiven had actually made that I think within the first hour of us logging onto the server. We couldn't believe it, we were over there trying to trying to get some food and yeah he was already in the nether. But uh, we don't have to go far guys, the spawn village is just the other side of that hill. And why did I call it a hill? These are beautiful, lovely mountains. I mean, look at that one over there. Anyway, and, oh, and, and that's nothing. I'll, I'll do it in the intro. I'll show you the mountain ranges nearby. Just over there, there's another huge one. It's awesome. So this is our spawn village. Like I said, day three, guys. There's not much done at the moment. But uh, I'm, I'm quite happy, actually. A few of us have moved in here. So some guys like Unforgiven and Gregor just nicked off to the nether and I got no idea where they're setting up bases but there are a few of us here making our homes in the village so we've got Mickey up there I think Kevin's set up in one of the houses and Swarmy was the first one to get his house up and running he actually beat me he's beating the pro minecrafter I'm I'm still just living in one of these houses and he's been a godsend he has set so much stuff up. Look at this, he's already got the lava going, so I've been smelting things that I didn't need to smelt uh, just to get the XP. And if we come over here, we can find Cortezarino's lovely house. I put a sign on it, and that is about it. A few chests. That uh, That's my contribution so far. Nah, that's not true. I have been contributing as much as I can, actually, because I am starting this world very differently than I usually do. We are no longer going straight into the villager trading hall. We are, we're, we're, we're a host. This is my server, so I feel like I want to get things up and running and ready for all, all my friends that are coming in. So check this out. We have a nice little community project. We've got the community mineshaft. Look at the, the elegant lines on this build, guys. This could be the thumbnail. And look at this, this entire shaft, like we're at level 100 here. This goes all the way to bedrock. And this was dug out completely with stone tools. I mean, what kind of an idiot would dig out a tunnel this big with stone tools? Yep, that was my day one. And I took a little time to set up our enchanting room. Every time I'm on a server with other people and you build that first enchanting table, they always do it out in the open, and I'm always terrified a creeper's going to walk up behind me while I'm busy, so safety first, Cortez has put his in a little house. And over here, we've got a few more farms. We just put these off to the side so we can actually get working on the village without having to move these all the time. And this was a nice little community project. I penned up the animals, and then the next time I came back, all of this was built. Oop, and I'm ruining the crops. Uh, they're not going to watch my episode, let's just keep going. And we've got a big sugarcane farm. I built that, and I built it stupidly so far away from our houses that it, it doesn't it doesn't grow, it's never loaded. So we've got a few more sugarcane farms over here. So this is going to be our spawn village, guys. It's where we're going to do all our shops and all that other stuff. So yeah, like I said before, some people have run straight off to wherever they're building their bases. I guess they already had locations picked out. But uh, yeah, we've got a nice thriving community right here at the moment. And I want to keep that going. So in the spirit of me not starting my worlds like I usually do, I want to be the host. I am the host of the server. So I had a wonderful idea for what my first build is going to be. And I actually showed this in uh, in a creative world in a previous episode. I was working on a tavern 
for my dystopia world. And as soon as I thought of it, I thought, yes, this would be the perfect addition to our village. Because we've still got patrons joining. I've got a lot of patrons that haven't realized the server's going yet. And they'll, they'll come on later and then we'll get some new ones as well. So I just wanted a place for them to come running in from spawn as the sun is setting. And when they join, there probably won't be any houses left. So I wanted to build an inn so they can come in here and grab a room and there'll be storage and a furnace and an enchanting table. So I will be the innkeeper, Cortez. So I've done the foundations, but uh, this won't do because I am still living out of that tiny little house. We need a proper starter base. And that's what we're going to be doing this episode. So I am putting my base underneath and we're doing a wine cellar theme. I got lonely. I couldn't help it. I had trouble finding diamonds. And so when I finally made a pick and it was about to break, I thought, no, I definitely need a mending guy. So in my tiny little starter base, I've, I've just put in two. We're not doing any more than that. I'm not breeding villagers. I just grabbed them from above and chucked them in here. And originally, along with him, I had a farmer. But we we broke up. He had terrible trades. So we got the Fletcher in instead so I can just trade for sticks. And I was actually able to buy a bow off him. Still haven't... Well, I've killed one spider. But he didn't give me any string. He was pretty stingy. So enough of the villager talk, you've, you've probably seen me in countless episodes going on about my villagers. I do love them, I can't help it. But it's time to talk about the starter base. Well, it's actually time to do some building. So I've dug out a room the exact same shape as the floor above that the building's going to be. And yeah, we're going to do this up as a wine cellar. I'm going to have a bedroom over here. Lots of storage, but uh, it's got to look cool as well. Now the problem I often have with wine cellars is I like to build them out of spruce wood but things get very sprucey very quickly so I thought the perfect colour to offset that would be these deep slate blocks. And through that magic of television we have done it. So I absolutely love this block. It's just the normal deep slate. I don't have silk touch but I went and smelted all of it. And for so many years in Minecraft, I've been building stone walls and mixing in all the different blocks to make it look detailed. With this block, you don't actually need to. Can you just look at the texture of it? It looks like it's different and sort of moving around. It's super cool. I'm going to start using this a lot more. So at the moment, the wine cellar does look very dark with all this uh, sort of dark grey everywhere. But as I start adding bits, it's going to get more sprucey. And so these little flashes of, of the dark grey are going to look a lot better. And I'm prepared, guys. I have been scrounged. We're on day four now. I went and scrounged all the materials I needed. So we can build this together. So the very first thing we're going to do is uh, we'll put a grindstone there because this is going to be our enchanting room. So I can... Where am I going to put it? There we go. Brand new enchanting table. And we can put in our bookcases here. So you're probably wondering why has Cortez got all that dirt there? Well, this is why. Boom! How pretty is that? So I've just hidden lighting below the trapdoors. And check out this. It's an upside down barrel. So I've got a bit of storage for my enchanting setup. And we'll get some more goodies. So I can grab all of this in my inventory. Let's see if I can remember how to build it. It's kind of like doing a tutorial, but I wasn't actually prepared for a tutorial here. Ooh, I've got way more beds than I need, because I've already got one in there. We're going to make a great big grand bed. We will grab some spruce. So what I want to do is, if I can remember, what was I going to do? I think we're going to put some spruces there, and then I'll put some on the angle, and we will strip all of that. Grab our slabs and we're just going to make a nice thingy around this. Now we'll grab the one that has bark all the way around. We will strip that. And I'm going to make a one of those, what do you call them? Poster beds or I don't even know the name of them. But we're going to put some red wool up there. Do some fence gates. We'll do some fence gates across the sides. Now we'll grab our, oh, did I make that the right size? Yes I did. Boom. There we go. That's a pretty bed. 
and make it even prettier with a nice little flower. Oh, I forgot some fence gates. So not normally what you see in a wine cellar, but this is my starter base. And yeah, I think that does look cool. And we're also going to put a double chest. I need lots and lots of storage. And like, I like symmetry. I know you're not supposed to build with symmetry in Minecraft all the time, but we've got this pillar here sticking out and we don't have one on the other side. But rather than put a pillar in, I'm going to put in a little bit of storage here. So we'll get rid of those. And more than a little bit, I'm going to put in four, uh, four barrels. We'll bend our stairs around like this. Boom. And then just to cover up the side so it doesn't just look like a, a silly pillar of barrels, we're going to put some trapdoors here. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. So we've got a matching pillar on the other side. But yeah, a lot more storage for our wine cellar. And next to our bedroom is going to be my storage room. Well, the whole the whole thing's going to be a storage room. You can see I'm just scattering barrels and chests everywhere. Because uh, I didn't want a big wall of chests because it would look a bit silly. But what we're going to do is do a wall of wine barrels instead. So we've got all the goodies here. We'll put in our stone cutter. We need that in our storage room. And so what I'm going to do is make it look like we've got a whole lot of wine barrels just sitting up on a wall. And it'll be the perfect place to store all my goodies. So we'll put some spruce fences in there. And I could actually put more walls of them in here. But like I said before, I want to keep a lot of this dark grey colour because it's already starting to get very sprucey in here. But yeah, that's a, that's a cool little storage area for all my little items not so great for bulk storage though and you can see i've hidden a few more barrels in the floor oh i've only hidden one might have to hide a few more if i if i start running out of room okay we'll grab a few more items here and this bit is going to be a little bit tricky i want to do some wine barrels and you've seen me do this in dystopia before but the big wine barrels i made there they, uh, if you if you touch them, open a barrel, the rails would pop off them. So I want to make one that uh, that doesn't happen with. And usually I make them four blocks long, but I'm only going to make these three blocks long because you're not really going to see the back of them. It's uh, I just want to have give the impression that they are disappearing into the darkness. So we'll put a little bit of depth there. And let's grab some of these materials. What am I looking for? I've got to remember it now. So we'll just do... That's the shape of the barrel. And I want to have some... Let's do that one more time. I want to put some upside down stairs. I'm going to get trapped as soon as I place this. Let's place it from above. So two upside down stairs there. Two on that side. Then we need right way upstairs. Oh, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to destroy my little pillar there. There we go. So uh, I can leave that pillar destroyed, I think. So this is the shape of the barrel. And then out the front, I'm going to put some actual barrels. So it looks sort of round. And we've got our little storage area up the front. And let's put in... What am I looking for? Let's grab some spruce. I'm going to need another pillar right here. And we'll strip that. So first of all, with the rails, we need to get the bottom ones in first. So I'm going to put a rail there, one up on that, one here, one up on that, and I need my pick. We'll break those rails and retrieve them. So there we go. Ooh, I can see Mickey up there. He's running around. So yes, I can open that barrel now and the rails will stay in place. And then we'll have to... Oh no, it was... Ooh. That was a mistake. It was night time before and there are probably mobs up there. And I'm about to let them in. Uh, let's make sure there's no creepers around here. Oh, I think we're safe. Okay. I don't want a creeper dropping into my wine cellar. That would be terrible. Okay, so now we can put our other rails in. So one on top of that barrel. One up there. Break. Can't do it with the pick. There we go. Break that. A rail right up the top. And then we can... Break him, put our spruce back in, and that is a wine barrel, so it's going to look like 
This in the end will strip those, so I need these pillars either side to hold up the bottom rails. But yeah, that's a little bit of storage, and I'm going to go ahead and build another one right next to it. Oh, I forgot one thing. We need the tap on our wine barrel, and as a tiny bit of extra decoration, the tap's going to drip, and we don't want drips all over our floor. So we put the, the little flower pot in there to catch them. It's very cool. That spider's trying to get into Mickey's house. We've got to get him. Come on, give me some string. Boom. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, stingy. Alrighty. Looking good. Looking very good. I think these will be my bulk storage for things like stone and cobblestone. I can just fill up all five barrels. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but we've got another section to go. In here, we need some furnaces. So I'm going to start with a smoker. To cook all my lovely food and we'll chuck in a bit of storage just because and i'm actually going to dig into the wall a little bit the fireplace for my tavern is going to be right above this so i'm always pedantic if i have a fireplace above i can't just have it on a wood ceiling i've got to have some supports here so that's why i'm building this sticky out bit right underneath it so we'll go for oh how was i going to do this that there and we'll put in some furnaces and why not a bit more storage up the top and we'll just hold them up. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, now it's all decoration time. So I'm going to put another crafting table here. So I've always got one where I, where I sort of need it. We'll go two barrels and a chest right there. Yeah, that looks pretty natural. Just like storage stacked up in a wine cellar. Throw in an armor stand, because I like to have backup armor and just sort of display it. And over here, I want to keep this bit of dark gray. So we'll just put a composter in there. And I think that's it, guys. That is my starter base. What do you think? Is there going to be enough storage, or am I going to run out very quickly? I can always just keep, keep hiding more of these barrels in the floor. Okay, there's another spider up here. I don't know what I need the string for, but you always need string early game, so I'm determined to get it. Oh. And I mentioned this was day four on the server. It didn't take me an entire day just to gather those materials. Uh, I've been mucking about in the nether, and that's because this mountainous area that we're in, it's actually really huge. If you want to go anywhere to another biome, you've, uh, you've pretty much got to go through the nether. So that's what I was doing. I needed dark oak wood, and so I made a portal out there. And if you remember, when I showed you that community mineshaft, I mentioned we're up at level 100. So we're up in the mountains really high. So when uh, Unforgiven made this first portal, it actually put us really close to the roof of the nether, and that gave me the idea of putting the nether hub all the way up here. The temporary nether hub because digging tunnels just underneath the bedrock is so easy. There's no lava, there's only the occasional little little crevasse to cross. And yeah, it just makes things so much easier. So we've got a temporary nether hub here. And this is at 0, zero And we've just done it uh, etho style. Big crossroads coming out from the nether hub. So no matter where you are, you always know where to find the crossroad. You can just go to 0 on the X or the Z axis. And you can find your way back here, and it makes it easy to connect our tunnels. So we'll do it all at this height, nice and easy. And then later, down below, when we build another hub, all we have to do is just lower everything. We don't have to move it. So yes, I've, uh, I've found a dark forest, a swamp full of witch huts. No double ones, but there are about seven singles in there. And the one thing you need to do, guys, if you're doing a server, like if you're organizing it, the first thing you've got to do as soon as you get to the nether is make a tunnel out to your mining desert because unless people have a specific desert to go mining in then uh, they're just going to start mining everywhere and make a mess and maybe someone wanted to build in a desert and and it's been destroyed so always designate one desert and get your tunnel out there as quick as possible but uh, yeah, I have to I have to go out there in a minute. As soon as I get a diamond shovel, I'm going out to the desert because I, I need that for the next part of the inn. So we're going to leave it here for today, guys. I've got to move all my stuff into the new starter base. And then it's time to start gathering materials so we can build the inn above. 
and I've designed a fair bit of it in creative already and it looks super duper awesome guys I can't wait and if you want to be a part of the server guys just uh, support me on patreon and uh, we'll get you whitelisted and hopefully we can do some pretty great things here so that's it from me for today guys I'll see you later